What's up, everybody? It's J Mac, and welcome back to Bigfoot Input. Uh, we're going to deep dive today on a couple pictures that came up this week. Uh, they've been causing a bit of a stir. This is kind of like the owl picture all over again. Uh, a lot of uh, claims being thrown up here. Um, we're just going to see if we can maybe clear the air a little bit, you know? Uh, this guy is in question. So we posted this on a video and we talked about it. And we talked about how we liked it, you know, a lot of positives about it. Uh, we're not concerned about the leg being um, disfigured here because uh, we figure that it's just in motion. So it's probably not a big deal. Um, we, uh, we were looking at, uh, we were looking at this though. Okay. And we were trying to figure out if this guy is wearing goggles or not. You know, this was the original discussion. And that of course takes away from the, le the legitimacy of the whole thing, you know? Uh, so the big question was, you know, what is this? And what is this? So... What I think is, I think, I think this is part of the, the forest, right? It's part of like the trees behind. I don't think it's actually part of him. And this, I have a theory about this too, which I'll show you because surprising to us, surprisingly to us, there's two pictures. One of our viewers alerted us and said, hey, you know, there's two pictures of that creature and they sent them to us. So we had the opportunity to look at both of the pictures. So let's go ahead and look at that other picture. This guy. Okay. So if we look up here, I think that this answers a lot of questions. So there's, oh my, there's your, um, that strap that we were talking about, you know, potentially for the goggles. And what I think it is looking at this, it's, it's just moonlight. Um, appearing on his on the hair on the fur right and then the face again my theory of that goggle piece not being part of his face there's nothing here now he's turned his head more or he's in a different position to block out whatever that was and you can kind of make out an eye here and maybe a nose and a mouth see that one two three all right so there's that um not sure why this arm has less hair than this one you know but i'm not gonna let that hang me up that's you know who knows displacement of fur or whatever so we also went as far as excuse me as uh measuring <clears throat> the arm versus the leg okay we measured them in a different picture and we showed that they are the same i mean very similar anyway you know my drawing could be off you know whatever but they're they're the same basically if he was a human he would have um this leg length and this arm length right that's the whole idea of behind the theory the theory of course is thinker thunkers um he pointed out that patty which we all openly believe is real um that creature had the appropriate arm leg ratios <clears throat> excuse me so based on that this creature is absolutely real bottom line okay but here's the problem you can't take that as gospel. Although it's a good tool to add on to the pile, it's not the end all. And that's no shade to Thinker Thunker. I think he's great. I like what he does. But you can't just take one piece of the, of the pie, one piece of the puzzle there, 
and call it a done day. So here's the problem. So yes, that that is, you know, you can chalk one up under real. Here's the problem. This. That's the problem. This is a perfectly straight line. In fact, it's straighter than I can draw. Okay? So, you know, immediately I said, well, it, it, it's the guy's wearing pants. This top part is tucked into this bottom part, and that's the line that you can see, right? I'll do you one better. Let's go over here. What is that? That is part of this whole deal. Which goes all the way out. So the top part of this creature ends here. And the bottom part is over here. Now that almost looks like a bad Photoshop to me. Now why would anyone go through the trouble of Photoshopping this? I, I have no idea. I don't know what the situation was. But I can tell you that there is absolutely no way to logic this away. Someone tried in the comments, and kudos to them for trying. But their theory didn't make sense. They said something about you know sitting down and it being a crease in the flesh. and It just doesn't make sense. Um... That doesn't account for this. And this is just a perfect straight line that it just, it does, you know, there's, they say there's no straight lines in nature. I mean, it doesn't make sense. So, you know, unfortunately we have no choice, you know, besides, you know, given this information and how much we all enjoy the picture because, Hey, you know, I'm not here. I don't have an agenda. You know, I'm not here to like squash things that are, tell people that things are fake when they're actually true. No, we're just searching for truth. And unfortunately, this guy is not real, which makes the guy in the other picture not real as well. Um, someone was trying to tell me there was two pictures, two different creatures. I'm like, come on, man. You mean to tell me that in the exact same, you see this tree here on the right hand side, and then you come over here, the same tree. You mean to tell me that this is actually the first shot, I believe, and then this would be the second shot. It looks like he stood up a little taller, but yeah, you mean to tell me that there's two different creatures here? And you can't really see the line in this one as much. Which just makes me believe that there was some photo trickery going on here with this side. I, I just, I don't know why or what, you know. And uh, I'm just going to address something real real fast. So someone told me, someone who is no longer uh, uh, viewed by this channel, honestly. I, I, I'm, I'm tired of all the, the negative critical comments, but... Um, the person said, uh, you know, I don't think Thinker Thunker would like you using his technique. Okay, well, first of all, let's not assume that you know what Thinker Thunker likes and doesn't like. Uh, maybe he would be flattered. And I did give him credit. You know, he is the guy that, that, that came up with it, the, you know, the idea. But, you know, Thinker Thunker didn't create measuring. So I don't think there's any lines being crossed by utilizing that tool as a way to determine whether something is real or not. I mean, yeah, he invented it. No, it's not copyrighted. No, it doesn't belong to him. And I don't think that he thinks that way, but this guy did. So anyway, uh, just want to throw that out there. Yeah, we're not thinker thunker. We're not trying to be. No shade to him either because I like what he does. I like his stuff. Uh, but we're not trying to be him. We're just trying to use all the tools available to determine what's what. Okay. So as of right now, until we can come up with something better, this guy is going in the F pile. All right.
This is J Mac, and I'm out.